Not every room at the Cromwell is luxury. There's one thing that makes them such. This room has it, and I'll show you what it is in just a second. Let's start in the main living quarters of this luxury king room. You have a miniaturized leather L couch and it's not comfortable. I took a nap on there for a half hour and I regretted it the second I awoke. So do not get any dreams or illusions of sleeping another person on that couch. It's certainly not gonna happen. They'd be better off sleeping on the floor. As you pan around the room, there isn't a workspace. This backgammon table, which I appreciate the decor, is pretty much the only work surface you have. It doesn't look like much, but they do have a trick up their sleeve. Let me show you. It does raise. Okay, so it raises. So if you do want to try to get some work done or have a coffee in the morning, you're not left out completely in the cold. It does raise and lower. And also a really cool feature is that this is able to be wheeled anywhere in the room. The French Renaissance artwork on the wall is really captivating. The purple wallpaper is ultra modern. This room has a purple theme. You can see the purple makeup chair over there. I'll get to that makeup place in just a second. And also there's another purple accent high back chair right there. Uh, let's get back to the bed. It's elevated. It's like it's off a really elegant feel. And then the headboard is one of the most beautiful headboards I've ever seen in Vegas. I'm gonna jump on the bed anyway. Again, it's ultra premium, it's ultra amazing. And when it's a great bed, it's one of my favorite things to do in these videos. Let's check it out again. I don't think I've ever been in a poor Caesars bed yet. The one at Caesars Palace was out of this world. The one at Paris I raved about. The one at Planet Hollywood I suspected was the same as the one at Paris. And this doesn't feel like it's a Planet Hollywood or Paris bed. It feels even better. It's remarkable. And then flipping back around, you have a big, beautiful, vibrant TV. One of the best TVs I've ever seen in a Vegas hotel room. They're typically not that large and it's perfectly positioned in front of the bed. Mini bar tucked away right here. I can't get it to open. I don't know if it's stuck, if it doesn't like me or if it's locked on purpose, but look at the size of these bottles. They're not playing around. Those things would definitely do some damage both to your internal organs and to your pocketbook. I think it's locked on purpose because the snacks are missing from right here and also the snacks are missing from right here. So if they were here, they would just roll out like that. That is really cool. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be in here. It's a little dusty and grimy. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be mini bar snacks or what. And then your safe is neatly hidden down here. One cool thing about this piece of furniture before I get onto the rest of the room is it has this connectivity built into this. If you do want to plug something in, you don't have to mess around behind the TV. Just put your stuff right here conveniently, plug it in, and beam it up. Purple accent chair and one of the largest full-length mirrors I've ever seen in a Vegas hotel room. This thing is pretty much floor to ceiling. I like the gloss black perimeter on it. It just oozes class and sophistication. All right, we're making our way through this room. I'm about to show you what makes this a luxury room. Before I do that, let's check out this closet. It pretty much just has your essentials in here. Uh, iron, ironing board, uh, a luggage stand. I would like to see a robe in here. I'm not sure why there isn't a robe at the Cromwell. I think this is probably Caesar's most luxurious property. Also, interestingly, there was not a robe at Paris Hotel and there was not a robe at Planet Hollywood. But there was a robe at Caesar's. Yet all these places are owned by Caesar's. So 
I'm not sure how they decide which properties get robes and which ones don't, but no robes here at Cromwell. All right, so making our way to the end of the room, uh, you have a chandelier that overlooks the entrance into the bathroom and also the strip view. Uh, here is a dedicated makeup area. You have a purple stool, so the purple theme continues. Purple wallpaper, an old school makeup mirror, and then you have some shelving if you want to store or keep your essentials nearby couple outlets on each side so you could definitely get some glamour work done here if you wanted to light switch on and off and this is what makes the room a luxury king room that's right if you want a strip view you have to buy a luxury room it's the view of the strip that makes this room luxury if you do not get a luxury room i am told by the manager who checked me in that you just have a view of the wall. So what would you rather have? Would you rather have a strip view that's a little loud? I mean, I do hear some really loud cars and some street performers from that walkway over there. Or would you rather have a really quiet room but a view of the wall? I'd probably take the strip view. My view specifically has a view of the Eiffel Tower as well as the Bellagio Fountains. Both are mesmerizing at night. I was hoping that this was a balcony, but it's not. I tried to get this open. It's, it's a bit of a tease. This opens, but these other two are locked, so no getting out there. I was hoping I found another Vegas hotel room with a balcony. I love my balcony life, but this one let me down. All right, let's finish up in this bathroom. I'm really digging it. I'll show you why. First of all, it's compartmentalized. I love when you can just kind of close your bathroom access. It keeps the rest of the room looking very clean. Also, when it closes, you can have more privacy. Coming into the bathroom, you have a dedicated toilet room. This picture of a dog on a throne, it's reversed. It's really neat, really trippy, really cool. We are using some of my favorite products in the world, Jose Bear products. I fell in love with those over at Paris. I can't wait to use those again. Circular mirror that's hanging from a stud that is really artistic. And then you have two rectangular strips of light. And the cool thing about this is that they are impregnated into the wall. I've never seen that before. All right, last but not least, let's check out the shower. This is really expansive. You have a rain head that's way up there. I bet those are nine or 10 foot ceilings. And then you have another shower handle right there. More Jose Hebert products conveniently placed here for you. And to finish things off, you have two really novel features. You have a huge mirror in this room. It's opposite to the mirror on the other side. And then you have a quote in here and it says, so it's English and then French. So you have to skip every other sentence. So it says, enjoy the good life. To win without risk is to triumph without glory. Bless the ones who curse you. That's life. 